Hi, I'm Rob Parker, Staff Chief Engineer on the Pacific Dawn while she's in refit. I'm just about to take you into the engine room spaces of the ship. This is a propeller shop. We're on deck one, port side of the stabiliser pad. The fins actually swing out and down at an angle. We're about 5.7 metres below the water. And when the captain's ready, you can then get the fins to operate just like an aeroplane wing. They'll go up and down to reduce the, the rolling of the ship. These uh, black mounts are the resilient rubbers that the engines sit on. Uh, we've put new ones in. The rubbers reduce the vibration throughout the entire ship to make a smooth ride for crew and passengers on board. We're now in the propulsion motor room. Either side of me, the two propulsion motors which push us through the water. In front of me are the four generators which generate all the electricity. We're now in the ship's engine control room, which is the heart of the technical operation where we control and monitor all the alarms and running conditions of all the equipment on board the ship. We're just about to go down onto the dock bottom in Vorjax, Brisbane. Starboard stabiliser, when it's horizontal, we can actually stow it back in the ship. This is one of the thrusters we've recently removed from the ship. It's coming to this workshop to be overhauled and serviced. As you can see, it's nice and clean now and we're starting to assemble it with new pieces. This is the vertical shaft out of one of the thruster units. We have the large motor within the ship up here and this shaft drives down to a long horizontal shaft which actually drives the blades. Hello everybody, I'm Fergus. I'm your hotel services engineer. Uh, basically, I'm in charge of all hotel maintenance, um, lifeboats, tenders, jacuzzi, swimming pools, plumbing, toilets, sewage, everything like that. During dry dock, we're doing a lot of maintenance on your lifeboats and tenders. I'll take you around and I'll show you exactly what we're doing. This is tender number one, and this is Solly behind me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and basically where Solly's helping repair the fiberglass work. And down here is what I'm in charge of. We do all the engine maintenance on board ourselves. Um, and this includes all your transmission, your propellers, shafting, couplings, things like that. So in tender number one, we're changing the gearbox coupling and also we put in two shiny new propellers onto tender one. Okay, so here we are in the forward swimming pool. Its capacity is 80 metres cubed, about 80 tonnes of water. There's a number of reasons why the swimming pools get closed when we're at sea. The main one being stability and there's a few other reasons what people don't fully appreciate why they get closed. The main reason is hygiene. The amount of sanitation we do is a lot higher than, we, than you would get in shoreside. All they do is close the pool for a small amount, add some chemicals and then reopen. But on here we're a lot cleaner and a lot more hygienic. So it takes about 30 minutes to one hour to dump the swimming pool and then about four hours to refill. It will take us all day to basically refill the pool. So this is deck 11 on the port side and we're looking aft along the alleyway. Um, if you look above, you can basically see various pipe works going along and these run the entire length of the ship and these come all the way from deck one up through the risers and then obviously this distributes all your water across the whole ship. As we've got chlorine in the pipe work basically it heats away at the metal gradually over the years so basically throughout its lifespan we do temporary repairs throughout the ship and in dry dock we get the perfect opportunity to replace big sections of pipe work. We've had a lot of contractors on for Deck 11, Deck 6, Deck 5 and Deck 4 and that has basically substantially reduced the amount of leaking pipework that we've had. Okay, what you can see here on Deck 6 is the process of cleaning the ventilation systems from grills all the way back to the fan units. The number one benefit is passenger comfort due to increased efficiency of the HVAC system. The airflow will change more efficiently and will allow better comfort in each cabin.
So what we're looking at is one of your black water systems. You see, black water is anything that goes down your toilets. So what happens is all the sewage from the ship, from all the toilets, drains down from whatever deck it's on onto a common line and then gets basically sucked by one of these units, which is an evac unit. So if somebody, like your neighbour or someone in another cabin, close to your cabin, puts too much paper down or a foreign object, it will basically block the system and nobody will be able to use their toilets. So our advice to you guys, if you haven't eaten it or drunk it or it's not paper tissue, do not put it down the toilet.